I've got my Easy Marble Pack, and it, this one comes with six different little bottles, and they look like this. So I've got these, um, there's six Let different colors, whoops, sorry, I got an echo, just for a second. I'm gonna put on my gloves, because it does say for you to use, uh, you know, gloves with it, so we're gonna do, definitely do that. I've got cold water ready. I've got my gloves on. No, I'm trying to get my gloves on. I've got my gloves on. I've got a bunch of different uh, surfaces. I've got my paint. And I will tell you, you want to have some, you want to have some something prepared so that you can uh, lay down all your pieces because I'm telling you, it's a little bit addictive. Like once you get started, you're going to want to do a whole bunch of things. And I was um, playing with this and of course you know what happened I started looking for just things all over the house <laughs> that I could marble and let's see I'm opening up all these jars and Margie has put up a link there for their YouTube channel so definitely go follow them on there and those are those are some ways that you can enter to win your own set of easy marble how fun is that all right, so I'm opening up on my jars because once you put the color down, it does go a little bit quick. And I am shaking them off camera before I'm opening them. So I've got a red, blue, green, black, and yellow, and white. I grabbed some different surfaces. And let's see, let's start. We're gonna start. I'm actually going to start with the white because it seems like the first color is the one that you see the least. And so I'm just dropping some drops here. So I'm going to start with the blue and the yellow, I mean no, the blue, white and the green and just working really quickly. I'm grabbing a little skewer. Just gonna kind of mix that up a little bit there and so you can just take anything pretty much I've got this piece of wood here this like a little wood chipboard and we're slowly dipping it in okay and then I'm gonna shake it loose because I don't there we go look at that how cool is that Put that little string there Good, looking good, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. So you definitely wanna have somewhere that you can lay all these wet projects. And you probably want it to be something that is not sticky. So earlier today I was trying some different things and then I was like, oh hey, I have these, um, you know, when I used one of these notebooks and I'm like, let's try this, cause it's white, right? Let's go in here, okay. And it does say to dip the whole thing. And I think we've got, I used kind of the whole thing. So let's do it again and let's dip the others, the whole thing. All right. Now I will say, just dropping in some more colors in here. I will say that earlier I tried um, dipping like with something that was wet. I was trying different things because I wanted to see what would happen. And so what I know, and I'll show you some of the results because I have them all. Um, but I did notice that if it was already wet, it didn't stick as nice as when it wasn't. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. But you see how it's like not sticking to this area because it's already, it's not sticking as well see the difference because this area was already wet and I did notice that earlier I mean it's on there because I kind of didn't let it slide right off but look at how cool that looks now I will tell you it's not gonna cover anything up so whatever you have you know I'm going to I'm gonna use this side because it's white background but this side 
it's not going to cover things up. So, you know, know that when you're doing it. It is a little translucent. All right. And then well, we've still got some still here. So there's no point in it going to waste. Let's dip this paper in here. Ooh, that looks cool. How cool is that? So this is just a, you know, pattern paper that I had. And I've got this little bit over here, so, you know, I don't want it to go to waste. Let's just kind of make it go over. So you definitely want to have a place for all of this to dry. All right, let's do some other colors. Now I want to show you, um, I did really like, here's the black black and the blue and the green together as well. Of course, what I really need is a purple, I'm just saying. As you know, purple's my go-to. Let's mix this up a little bit. Get some fun colors going there. Get that piece out of there. And let's try, oh, let's try this. Let's try this. I have this little, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys, but I, I don't think that, that any too much color is a, is a thing. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Um, okay, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna go to the side, because I wanna get the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's like water in my little container. <laughs> Oops, gotta dump that water out. Oh, look at how cool this looks, you guys. So this is, um, I don't know, this paper has a, you can see that it's bubbling up here, so obviously the paper has a little bit of a coating. I was just grabbing things, random things that I had around. Look at how cute. That looks really cool. I don't know why I did that, maybe because of the, the resist on the paper, but that looks really cool. I like it, okay. All right, so we've got so you can do, I mean, you can do just about anything. You just have to remember that it is, it is translucent. So if there's something underneath, you're gonna see it. Like I tried to do this Altoid tin because I wanted to see if it would do metal and it does. I mean, if this was, if this metal was clean, look at how pretty that would look. Um, I didn't like this so much, but you know, I was trying to see if it would work. And so it does stick to it. It would just have to be something that's a solid color or a pattern that you actually like because I would want to cover this up. Now, it does say that you have to, I know, right? That's so cute. Um, it does say that you have to let it dry for, I think it was 72 hours to cure, and then you can seal it if you're going to do something else. Um, you know, so you just never know. All right, so I'm gonna do, I thought this would be really cute since we've got the red and the white and the green. I'm like, oh, you know, you could do red, green, and white for Christmas, or just red and white for a Christmas. This is just a little glass bottle that I have. I'm gonna go this way. And I think I'm gonna go down. Oh. I kinda double dipped. Look at how cool that looks. So I thought, how cute would it be to do, you know, red and white for for Christmas, like a candy cane kind of thing, or a red and white for Valentine's, right? So look at that, that's really cute. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. So you can do glass, hi Renee, hi Karen. Yes, double dipping is totally cool. While I've got this in here, let's go ahead and show you this. So I grabbed this red, this is just a foam part, and I thought, if this works, this would be really cool. I tried one with white earlier, and I'm shaking that off, that looks cool. 
Can you see that? Okay, I'm going in over here on this side. Okay, that looks really cool. Okay, going over here. So you can see this is so easy. You know, I just would tell you that one, have a place prepared for all those hi. Hi guys. Um, I don't know, uh, Lisa, you're on here. How about on fabric? I was thinking more things that were non-porous. Um, but, you know, it does it on paper. So, you know, let's get this area. Um, I'm just gonna take a piece of paper and pick up any areas that are left right now. And, you know, just kind of the leftover paint because I wanna do a clean surface. I mean, I think it pretty much sticks to anything. I know, it is fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely wear gloves. And yes, you can do camp. Yeah, so you know, I guess if you can do canvas shoes, you can do, you can do fabric, so. All right, so I have this, this little thing here. Like, I do a lot of demos and sometimes I play with, try to play with colors that are not my wheel box. And yeah, then what happens then sometimes I like don't like it. You know, we all have those things running around that we don't really care for. And so I was like, oh, let me grab some of those and let's just kind of fix them. So we're gonna go in here. see that this is really fun like I said really addictive so I would definitely grab anything you possibly can <laughs> to marble <laughs> and you know so when you're ready you just go ahead and do it and you dip the whole thing oh yeah if you uh, shake it first I'm not doing a very good example. I'm just having fun over here. All right, uh, let's see. So I did tend to like things that were lighter color, right? If it had a, I'm just gonna put this in here to kind of grab anything that's left and kind of pushing it to the side. So that we get some clean ones. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this blue and green because I really want to dip a mermaid. <laughs> you had to know I wanted to dip a mermaid, right? Put some more in there. Okay, so let's dip this. She's stamped, so let's dip her in there. Look at that. How cool is that? Go this way. I'm trying not to get her, try not to get her face. You can do, you know, I kind of like the double dipping. I thought it kind of looks cool. Cause look at how it looks so much darker there. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it because I do know. How cool is that? I do know by doing some testing and doing some fun things that even after, so after it's dry, like this one, I stamped on top of it. You can write on top of it. I even used, um, I used the Mar Marabu crayons and I went on top of it. So you can do, it will resist a little bit, right? Now you couldn't do, I mean you could do acrylic over it, but the acrylic, if you use acrylic, it's gonna cover it. But if you use a water-based paint, it has the resist to it. So it still will show through, which is really nice. Yes, you could paint her first. Um, it still would stick. It still, it still would stick. Cause even like this was a not, you know, this has a little bit of resist. Not only that, 
this uh, the bottles right this has a slick surface to it and it's stuck to that so you know that if it's, it has a a slick surface it's still gonna stick to it so but you can do right on top you can paint right on top of it so I want to show you some different ones that I did earlier so look at how cute this would be so this is just the red on top of white paper so this is just one color and look at this this is the double dip so on this side I just did it once and then this side I went and did it again how cool is that and so I did both sides And same thing over here, you can see this is the double dip, which just makes it darker, and it looks really cool. Hey, you know what, you guys? I would love it if you guys would share this, if you think that anybody would be interested. I, I've seen a couple of comments saying that people would be interested in this. If, if you think you know people who would be interested in this, you need to share. So here's another one. Okay, this, I think this is my favorite color combo right now, just with the six colors that I have. Okay, that's the blue and the green and the black on top of a white paper. I mean, it just looks really cool. And if you were going to do mixed media with this, it would be really cool. Thank you for sharing. It would be really cool to do just bigger, I think to me, bigger pieces of paper and then cutting them for your projects. But look at this one. So this is a piece of foam that had already had the glitter on it and look at how pretty that looks. Here's this. Look at this. This is the black. I don't know why it came out gray over there, but I don't know. It looks cool. Okay, and this was when I was playing and I was just throwing all kinds of colors in there. And I thought this would be fun. Okay, so here's what I was saying. Over here, this side of the paper was already wet when I stuck it in there, and this side wasn't. So it stuck really nicely to this one, and it kind of didn't stink, stick over here to this side. So it's good to know that you, you don't you want to let the paper dry if you're going to do another section of it. But I really love the, uh, the red and the green, and I think it's, look at how pretty that is. So it's just a matter of experimentation. What you didn't see in here was um, yellow. Because <laughs> I'm not a yellow person. But um, <laughs> but I will, you know, I will a, a use yellow for like an accent color. <laughs> like a little tiny bit, but I'm not really a yellowish kind of person. Which is funny. I love, I love black with all the colors too. Okay, so really quickly, let's do, because let me see, I'm looking, we did the foam, we did paper, we did glitter. Oh, I want to show you two different things. Let's see. I want to show you, I want to see what it does on this and on this acrylic. Um, this is a piece of paper and it has uh, stenciled, it's been stenciled with a Crafters Workshop texture paste and they're metallic so and I've got this in here already so let's just go ahead and dip this in here yeah it's better if you do it right away so let's yeah because I've got a piece in there and I don't want that in there okay well, let's do something else not loving this so much um, I think I would have stuck really nicely if I would have done it right away, but I forgot it was in there. I got carried away. I get so excited, and I was talking about it and didn't take care of business, but that's okay. We're going to take care of it right now. So right now I'm going to, I'm kind of pushing that there's little pieces that are sitting in there that are left over, and you don't want those little pieces in there because that's, those are the pieces that become like little clumps like this. And so doesn't look as nice. All right, so let's put some colors in here. Let's do, I want to do this. This is a piece of clear scraps acrylic. And I'm only going to do, it, it does come with a film on both sides. I'm only going to take off the film on one side. Let's 
to red and black. Those were my high school colors. Let's do red and black. Let's mix it up right quick. And let's stick it in there. Oh, looks good. Okay, can you guys see that? Maybe on white. Okay, and the reason that I left that, that, um, oh, I think it'll be really pretty on the foil. The reason I left that piece on the back is because I'm thinking if I glue it on something, it'll be really super shiny on the other side, right? Because I'm going to take that protective film off. So I think that looks really cool. So I'm going to set that aside. So there are so many different things, and I have the foil. I should have grabbed a piece of foil. I could have done that too. There are just so many. I think it'll look really pretty, especially since we know that it looks pretty on glitter. Ooh, let's go pick it up over here. Look at how cool it looks. And then when it dries, that's when you really see the glitter paper shining through. We can even, let's double dip over here just because we can. I kind of like it because it makes for some of those areas to be super dark. And I like that. I think it looks really cool. Alright. I'm telling you, I, it, it's very, very fun. It's very, very easy. And this is a way... This is a really fun way to spend your afternoon and just grab a bunch of different things. Oh, I have this too. Should we do this? I think we should do it. <laughs> I know, yay! Billy DLC, we're pretty! Okay, I'm moving this stuff to the side. So I'm either letting it catch to the side or trying to catch this with my paper, those little pieces. And so, what I'm thinking, you guys, I'm thinking the fairy, the fairy wings, my new fairy wings embossing powder, I think would look really cool on top of this. So, I am going to try it, but I'm not going to try it right now because I don't have enough room with all this. This is just a little wooden box. I'm gonna kinda... Ooh, that looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like the black almost looks like a dark brown instead. Wow, that looks really neat. Look at that. How cool is that? I think I. This is probably my favorite one, you guys. <laughs> I think what I would do to this right now, I think that I would seal this with a really high gloss. Oop, there's my timer. Can you imagine this with a really high gloss finish? It would look so cool. I think that's what I'm gonna do to this box. This, after this is, after it's set and it's dry, I think it looks so cool with a really, really high varnish, really glossy, would look very cool. So there you have it, easy marble. It's so easy to use, you guys. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, right? <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. And um, so, yeah, this is fun stuff. You guys need to try it. And let me know, you know, what you guys think about it um, in the comments below. If I haven't caught you already, it, um, I will go back through and look at all the comments because sometimes I do miss it, you know, as I'm trying to do stuff and I'm looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> but I wanted to let you know, um, 
make sure to stop by the blog all week long. The team has made some really fun, fun projects that you guys can do yourselves. And some of you guys already have a lot of the supplies like the mermaid stamp, um, some different things that are coming up and you guys already have those things and all you gotta do is go grab your Easy Marble. It's so easy to use. So anyways, go buy the blog because then you can win your own set, right? Your own set like this. I have easy marbles, so fun, right? And we will announce the winner next Monday night. And um, oh, before you go, <laughs> I want to let you know um, if you are in the Houston area, I will be there on the 10th and the 11th, so this Friday and Saturday. I'm teaching um, three different classes, mixed media classes there in person. <laughs> So it's going to be fun. So uh, do go by, check the blog, um, and if you want to do my classes, um, yeah, I think you can still sign up till midnight. If you hurry, um, you can still sign up. Otherwise, it's more money when you get there. Who wants to pay more money? I don't. Um, yeah. So, and what else? What else do I have? Oh, and I've got tons of cool stuff in the shop right now. I've got all the embossing powders. I've got all the stamps in there right now. I've got the die cuts in there right now I've got everything and everything is going um, all of the die cuts are going live this week because I am going out of town and you know if I'm gonna give uh, people in person a chance to buy all the die cuts I'm gonna give you guys that chance too so um, definitely go by the blog check out the shop and uh, make sure you guys go by Marabou and their Facebook and their Instagram and their YouTube and sign up so that you can enter to win your own yay alright you guys I will see you guys next time, and um, next week, I think we're going to take some of these pieces and do some super cool, fun stuff with them. Yep, I think we're going to be adding some uh, embossing powders and some stamping and some other really cool, fun stuff. So, and then we'll announce the winner. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Thank you guys for all the hearts. All right. Bye. Hopefully you can see and hear everything okay. I have on my desk some marabou. And this, we've been playing with this easy marble. Like starting from last marabou. week. Whoops. Got an echo. Got an echo. Hi Delilah. Hi Tanya. Hi Renee. Hi guys. As you guys are popping on there, I'm trying to keep up. Hi Eileen. Awesome. Hi, Jean. All right. Everybody's on here. Okay. So we have been playing with this easy marble. And you can see my stuff got quite messy, but that's okay because you know what? We get messy sometimes when we do mixed media, right? So this kit comes with these little bottles and really a little bit goes a very long way because as you saw last week, it only took a couple of drops of color to add to our water and we got these really cool techniques like this and let me move these out of the way and we can kind of go over these are some of the things that we came up with uh, this was one of our backgrounds and I just stamped on top of it this was one of our background and I added a little bit of glitterific on top I don't know if you can see that sparkle so it looks really pretty on top and then I put one of my mermaid dies on there. I think she looks pretty cool. Hi Deb. This one, this was actually two pieces so I took a piece of the regular marbled and then the piece that we did on top of text and I put my flower die on top of it and backed it with a black piece of paper. And I think they came out pretty cool, right? Alright, so I'm going to set these aside. And we're going to look at a couple of the other pieces that we started last week. Move these out of the way. This, these are the colors that, there are six colors in the kit. So you've got a, you know, your, your basic colors. Red, black, yellow, white, green, and blue. And somebody at the end of this video, live video, is going to win 
this kit, right? So hopefully you went and you signed up on the website and you followed instructions. Hi, Susan. Hi, Michelle. It is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, here's another one of the pieces that we did. Remember we did a piece of acrylic, so this little acrylic thing. So I want to show you it on white. I put this together and I'm like, okay, let's do like a, because it's like a little megaphone here. So I thought this would be cute, but you can really see on white how cool the marble actually is on this piece of acrylic. And we didn't do anything to the acrylic, we just added, we just took off the plastic and added the easy marble. So I'm gonna take a couple of foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. Are they blendable to make purple? You know what, I didn't try um, blending them, but I don't think so because when it hits, it dries so quickly that you really only have, you have to kind of work with it right away. Hi Stephanie. Maybe one of my team members would know. I, I would think maybe if you mixed it outside of the water, you might be able to make purple. We can try it. We can try it. I'm gonna stick this on here. Go team. And put that on slant. And because these foam scores are black, I figured black behind the black marbled areas might be cool. Let's see. Oh, they kind of they kind of stick out, don't they? Yeah, I gotta take that off because I don't I don't want it to show. So because it shows, I'm gonna take that one off. Yeah, we'll try it in a I'll try it in a couple minutes. But first, let me get this one going. Okay, I do have. I have one of these uh, sheets from Scrapbook Adhesives, and if you've never worked with these, these are really cool. Okay, so we're gonna take this marble piece and stick it on here, and this is the marbled piece. Okay, so it's marbled on this side, and I'm gonna put this down because I wanted the glossy side up. just because I want it super, super glossy. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And we're gonna put this down. Like so. There we go, that way you don't see it. And let's make this one pop a little bit. And I think it looks pretty cool. So, which is nice to know that the marble does work on acrylic and glass as well. So it was really cool because of every, pretty much every surface that we tried, it worked. Well, not pretty much. It did work on every 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 piece. So let's put this on here. tape runner on this one and we're good to go so there you go so there it is on acrylic oh thank you Tanya you could do this in any team colors this is fun stuff okay so then I have let's see what do I got here oh I have this I really liked how this came out. This uh, foam, it's a foam heart. It was already glittery, but look at how beautiful the marble looks on top of it. And this piece too, this was a piece that got broken. It was a big tree at first, and then it got broken, but how cool it came out. So I thought I might find a home for it in one of my journals. So let's take a look. So 
I got this journal that I've just kind of been playing with color. Ooh, yeah, we could do. I think that green page. I've just been playing with color in here. Um, I think this might look. That looks kind of pretty right there. There's too much going on there. That's the mermaid fin. So those are my embossing powders. You know what? I like it here. So I think it would be really cool, like so. Slime in the marble die. I don't know. Um, Danielle's asking if you could dip it, dip it with slime. I I don't know that that would. If you're if you're talking about kids playing with it. I wouldn't do it because it doesn't say like non-toxic like some things do so I, I don't know that I would I would do that even if it did work I, I don't think I would do that I would find another way to um, get my color on there you know what I think it's probably better to do this I'm just gonna stick Stick it on here. Peel some of that back. Okay, so I think this will look good on here, like so. And then I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll have to write some quote or I don't know. A lot of times. Especially with your art journals, you have to think about just, um, you know, doing some pages and going back to them later. Because sometimes the, the moment, it doesn't come right away, right? Oh, okay, this, I think it was this page. Look at that. I mean, that really pops here. I like that a lot. I don't know what the, maybe side but I don't know but we're just gonna stick this in here actually I'm gonna stick it on here and stick that whoops I might have messed it up just a little bit yeah I did right here so okay maybe we have to do this So that looks really cool on this purple background. It looks really pretty, I think. And then I still have room over here to maybe do um, some type of a quote or a girl or I don't know, add something to it. You know, when you do art journaling, you don't have to do, you don't have to start and finish a page all at once. It is okay, you know, to kind of just play with color sometimes. And maybe sometimes you go through and add a bunch of quotes or, you know, whatever. You just have to be open. Be open to the process. Yes, an opportunity for more, for more embellishing. I love that. That's perfect. Yes. So, you know, you just have to think about it's all good, right? It's all going to work out. Okay, so this one, this is another one that originally when I... When I did it, I was thinking of doing um, like a Christmas kind of thing, but then I was trying to find something that went with it and I thought, oh, my little cute fairy button would go with this right here. So I found this little quote and I thought I'd put this together real quick on air. So what's really nice is to have all these pieces, you know, do a bunch of marbling at the same time and then you can go back and play with it and have these pieces of paper that you can use on other projects for backgrounds. Okay, so I'm putting these foam squares on this little button and I have a friend that's going through a really hard time right now so I thought this would be really cute for her. Alright, so let's put... Hi, 
again. Right. Okay, let's make sure I put the quote in the right order. That would be good. Because <laughs> it would be bad if it didn't make sense, right? Right. So, peace is not the... I do need to turn some into magnets not the absence of conflict. I'm sticking them on this adhesive. It's not the absence of conflict. But The presence of God okay, so I'm trying to find a piece that has pieces still on it. No, I wrote it on there. It wasn't fitting like I wanted to. Uh, somebody asked if uh, if the piece the word piece is a stamp, but no, I wrote it on there because I I had printed this this little saying out, but I didn't like the way the word piece came out. I wanted it bigger, so I just went ahead and freehanded that onto there. So it says peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of God no matter the conflict. Okay, so we're gonna put some adhesive on the back. there and I do eyeball it I am NOT one for measuring if it's not perfect it doesn't bother me <laughs> I know some people it does it has to be totally perfect and they need measurements that is so not me <laughs> all right so let's put that on there like I just I'll just kind of eyeball it and cut it out I do like, yeah, I like that sentiment too. I thought that's really cool for somebody who's going through something right now. So I think that's pretty cute. Even though I was thinking originally I would use it as a Christmas, I think it's it's pretty cute just because it got the little fairy on there, right? I think that's cool. So I think it will work. That works for me. Okay, let's see. Let's do some testing. So. Tony's is asking if we could mix the colors. So I'm grabbing a palette. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I have a palette knife and I do. So let's see if we have a red and a blue. Let's see if they mix. Okay, and like I said, you only need a drop or two. And you're supposed to drop them right into the water, but I'm thinking, well, what if we put it into you know, a container like this first, and then dropped it in the water, I think it would work. And, let's see. All right, let's, 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 let's see if it mixes. Okay, it's, it's mixing, but it's super crazy dark. It does look like purple, but my thing, my thought process is, why can't we use the white to maybe lighten it up? It is mixing. The sticky paper I am using is from Scrapbook Adhesives. Okay, let's just put a drop of white in there. Hmm, it's still super dark, you guys. I, I do believe that it's a dark purple, but let's add a little more white to it and see what happens. Well, I don't know. it still looks like a really dark blue instead of purple. So I'm adding
adding a lot more red to it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's just looking really, um, I don't know, it just looks really muddy. Let's try on a piece of, this is a piece of white paper. I want to see what it looks like because I don't think, see that? I mean, technically, yeah, but it's so dark, I don't think that you'd be able to tell that it was a purple, so we probably have to get the purple. Um, it does come in other colors, it's just this particular kit, it comes with the um, basics. I don't have anything with, I don't have any container with water right here to be able to drop it in, but if you see how dark it is, I mean, that is it. it that's what it would look like in the water so it's just kind of a muddied color it doesn't it's not very pretty um, it looks like a black with almost a, a reddish tint back there but it doesn't look like a purple so it wouldn't look like purple in the water either so there is that let me set that aside yeah so that would be kind of a bummer that would be kind of a bummer. Yeah, it did go brown. <laughs> All right, so we tried some different things. It didn't really work, but that's okay. So, but that doesn't mean that you can't have that purple color because it does come in a purple because it has, it does come in like a ton of other colors. Um, it's just that this happens to be the kit that we're giving away. So I am, oh, there, there it is. Okay, I'm, I was waiting for my assistant here to hand me this envelope of my winner here. All right. Oh, you are so welcome. So I have this handy dandy envelope that has my winner in it for tonight. Okay, and I hope that you guys went and followed Marabou because they are the ones that sponsored this giveaway, right? So we have our handy dandy envelope. And we are going to pull out a winner and of course it's on marble paper because that's what we are doing. And the winner is Denise Bryant, and I don't even know if you're on here, but Denise Bryant, you are a winner, and I'm sure, I'm sure you, I'm going to get at least one, because I always get at least one message that it's backwards, because it is backwards on Facebook, I don't know why, but congratulations, Denise, please uh, send me a message with your address so that we can get this sent out to you, and some mermaids, and... That is what I have whoops, for tonight. So I hope that you guys uh, enjoy playing with the Easy Marble and uh, showing all these fun things that you can do with the Easy Marble. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and post them below because I will go through all the comments and check and see if there's anything that I didn't answer in progress because sometimes they just get by me. They just go by so fast sometimes. But I'd want you to make sure and share with your friends if this is something that they would like. If they would like uh, mixed media videos, that would be awesome. Go ahead and share and I will get back to you guys next Monday for Mixed Media Monday. I'm Rita Bearcat. Bye guys.